In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between BPMN XR versus R gateways. In the next couple of minutes, I will dive deeper into these two gateways and I will show you a real life example for both. Let's jump right into it and let's start with the XR gateway first. Imagine the following business scenario. We are working for a bank and we have the job to model the loan request business process. To keep things simple, let's assume that as soon as a loan request gets into our systems, the first step is to check whether the client who is requesting a loan has a positive credit score. So either the credit score is positive or not. When the credit score is positive, then the next step within our business process would be the approval. But when the credit score is not positive, then we reject the loan request. Let's model this scenario. We start with the start event, loan request received. As I said, the first task is to check the credit score. For sure, checking the credit score might be a complex sub-process because multiple systems might interact. But in this video, let's keep things simple because we only want to focus on the difference between the BPMN XOR and OR gateway. This is why I'm modeling the task with the plus symbol here. It shows that behind this task, there is a lot more to come, an own process. Let's assume the process of checking the credit score returns a value that might be true or false. True when the credit score is positive and false for the alternative. With an X or gateway, here illustrated with an X in the diamond symbol, we now want to check if the return credit score is positive or not. If the credit score is positive, then we accept the loan. Also here, this is a complex task, that's why I'm using the plus symbol again. If the credit score is negative, then we reject the loan. After either way, the loan request process is done. Either accepted or rejected. Let's illustrate a possible workflow with a token. As the process gets triggered, we generate a token in the start event. From here, we navigate to the first task checking the credit score. After doing so, we move to the X or gateway and check the value of the credit score. For this process instance, we assume the score was positive. So we move on to accepting the loan request. This step may also take a couple of sub steps because there might be many approval chains. After that, we reach the end event, loan request accepted, and this token gets eliminated. For the other case, Let's illustrate that with the yellow token. We also check the score, but this time the score is negative. Therefore, we go the other path. Rejecting the request and terminating also this token is the next step here. All right, after understanding the XOR gateway, let's jump to the OR gateway. Let's take an everyday example, like ordering food. Let's say this process starts when we notice hunger. Then we choose what we want to eat. For this example, Let's limit it for three alternatives like pizza, pasta and salad. We can choose one, two or all three. After deciding in our mind what we want, we are going to select these foods onto our order. We place the order, wait until we receive the order and that's it. Let's model this scenario. The process gets triggered as soon as we notice hunger, so that's our start event. First, we choose the food. Now, as I said, we have three foods to choose from. We can choose one, two or all three dishes. Pizza, pasta, salad. That's the inclusive or BPMN gateway. The X or gateway only allowed one path. Now we have to go at least one path. After selecting the food, we place the order and wait until it arrives. That's it. Now let's also walk this process through with a token. In our example, we choose pizza and salad. That's why the inclusive OR now creates a second token. If you would choose all three alternatives, we would have three tokens. When they join together again, we are with one token left. And this one token is going through the rest of the business process. So now you have seen two examples for an XR and an OR gateway. Let's make a quick comparison between these two again. Like I said, the XOR is an either OR, so only option A or the other one, only one is possible. OR is an inclusive OR. For the XOR, we have only one path that is valid, and for OR, we have at least one path, but multiple are possible. Also, the XOR gateway has only one token going out, but the OR gateway has multiple ones, at least one. If you want more content about BPMN or business analysis related content, let me know in the comment section below. Also, feel free to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out more of this content. Thanks for watching and take care.